back in the study, quote, for these anti-mask users, their approach to the pandemic is grounded in a more scientific rigor, not less. Ultimately, we argue that the deployment of COVID data visualizations reflect a deeper socio-political rift regarding the place of science in public life. Who is advocating for radical policy changes? From my perspective, a year of universal community mask mandates is a very radical policy change. Anti-maskers simply support the pre-2020 established social norms, as well as the pre-2020 scientific paradigm regarding potential mask mandate efficacy. But the MIT study dives in. Quote, while previous literature in visualization and science communication has emphasized the need for data and media literacy as a way to combat misinformation, this study finds that anti-mask groups practice a form of data literacy in spades. One fundamental epistemological rift could separate people who no longer take institutional data and interpretation at face value or as unquestionable gospel. A subset of that rift might only feel that way regarding totally novel situations with totally inadequate data. Another rift might only find scientific experiments compelling if they have a control arm. Another rift might sim simply consider the successful replication of experiments to be a minimum prerequisite to building, quote, evidence-based public policy. With any novel topic explored by science, there should not be any public consensus about scientific findings yet. That itself is already anti-science. Uh, knowledge on new topics is constantly in flux, and we barely identified the first batch of known unknowns related to most of 2020. This is part of the epistemological rift. Many seem content to quickly believe a brand new scientific paradigm and consensus which cannot possibly have enough verified evidence to support it yet. Ten RCTs were included in the meta-analysis, and there was no evidence that face masks are effective in reducing the transmission of laboratory-confirmed influenza. End quote. That's the WHO guidance after a meta-analysis in October 2019. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! But instead of hosting debates, the establishment consensus just smears skeptical experts and literally censors those who share peer-reviewed work on social media platforms. Censorship regarding novel topics of study is anti-science behavior. Even if you are on the other side of a debate, I assume you are also trying to save lives, or at least to feed your family. And long ago, I chose to guesstimate that some 95% of people have great intentions, even if I disagree with their interpretations of the information driving their actions. Some of the conclusions of this working paper from October have similar blind spots to that of the MIT study, but this feels closer to gaslighting. Uh, in one sentence, conspiracy theorists are stigmatized for misinformation. The next sentence admits an absence of direct evidence on mask effectiveness in preventing the spread of COVID-19. So I insincerely apologize for being so conspiratorial as to oppose community-wide medical interventions which have an absence of direct evidence supporting them. So if that evidence was enough for a preponderance by academic standards, then those standards have no ethical place playing politics that significantly impact hundreds of millions of lives. If established institutions are so willing to mislead the general public about the evidence for or against universal mass mandates with decades of research closer to their claims, then how misleading should I assume they have been when also claiming consensus on totally novel topics of study.